Good morning and happy Thursday. Yes, Thursday. <laughs> um, this is Jolene with a Jewel Design, and we are here today with some actual ephemera making. Um, I've done a bunch of retro, right? And we've done reveals, we've done some happy planners, we've done some um, prep maybe for um, the new recipe keeper last week. And so we are sort of coming back around to the spring. We're coming back around to botanicals. We're coming back around to that lovely um, journal that I've been dying to make. And this is sort of getting me going and getting me working on before I release the next kit. And so today I have all the scrap paper. And I mean, there's scrap paper, right? So it's things from Valentine's. It's from the first botanical kit. It's from my floral spring wallpaper kit. Um, it's, you know, a little bit of Fifty Shades of Purple, and then, like, papers and backgrounds and, and just things that I've printed out, you know, with my kits, lined up, not lined up, light, pale, whatever. Um, a little bit of paper, book paper, I've got a new booklet, well, an old, well, it's not a new old book, it's a Dollar Tree book for my glue sheets, and then I got my newest antique book in this paper, right? I was trying to figure out how to put all this together. And I was just going to use, like, sheets like this, back to back to back. You just you keep adding your way down. But I was afraid it might be too flimsy when I was done. And I do want this as really nice belly band and um, journal cards and tags for the kit, for the journal that I'm working on, the spring one. And so I figured if this came out well, you guys could get digitals out of it, too. Like, I would be able to scan and photo my lovely collage as digitals for you guys to have this week. So I do pre-record this, so hopefully when I get this done, then before this comes up, you guys will have access to the digital collaging of what I did physically, um, which is what most ladies started out doing. They went ahead and they would collage pieces of paper together and use them in there, and people were like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You know, how do we get a hold of it? And so they started learning to uh, scan things in, and those scans just became immediate 8.5 by 11 digital papers for you guys to print, right? So now we've gone the other way, and we've done everything digitally, and you guys print it out, and you sort of get that same feel. And even then, we take our digitals like I'm doing today, and we t tear them up some more, and we, re you know, re-collage it out physically. So it's an awesome thought. So I'm going to sit here today, and I'm going to put this together and um, see how this turns out. And like I said, hopefully... Um, if it all turns out well, you guys can go look into my shop and find the digital versions of these, this collage that I'll be putting in my in my journal. If it's sort of, eh, well, then it was a trial and error, and I know what to work on next. Because I doubt I'll go through all my papers today on this one sheet. Because um, I don't want to do anything to the back. I'll just distress it when I actually cut it and leave it this wonderful paper to write on. So, for actual journaling, journaling purposes. So... That's it today. That's what we're doing. We are journaling with me. We are making some scrappy botanical spring ephemera and uh, making the collage, scrappy, scrappy collage roll to uh, get me started on this thing. Because I think uh, the following week, what do we do next week yet? Maybe we'll start working, maybe we'll start looking into the cover because um, I hope to have the botanical two kit almost done. So that'll give me a good feel for what how things are looking, and we should be able to work on a cover maybe next week. So we're working on a cover. So, all right, here goes nothing. All right. So <clears throat> as I'm fiddling through this, I did sort of speed up the process because I sat here for like the next 45, 50 minutes just working on this. And wanted to, sorry, I was double checking my screen, which I ended up moving it. Ugh, maybe that was half my problem. So you'll notice I'm a little off screen. Um, my whole roll ended up a lot longer than I expected, so it ended up off the page. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we get the gist of what I was working on and sort of see how it progressed. And I'm definitely going to make digitals out of this, as I mentioned. Uh, so you guys can all, you know, enjoy the what I created to add to the botanical kit I already have and hopefully to sort of go with the other spring and floral and newer kits that come out in, in the next couple months. So 
but I barely made a dent in my paper. I still have quite a chunk of scraps and papers that I have left over, so we definitely have more scrappy rolls in the near future as I need more ephemera. So especially as I find sizes, I'll probably be more specific and be like, all right, here's my base piece, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, collage it up. It was fun, though, looking at my papers and sort of pulling out all the fluff in the background and just sort of narrowing down to the um, exact piece that I wanted. And then having those pieces left over, I put them aside and just went ahead and, like, would find those holes and I would fill them in. So, in the end, I was really stoked with how this came out for never doing one of these in person. Um, I know half the time, you'll notice, I probably was tearing things off screen because you sort of need them close to you to get the right, like, the right leverage. So, but I am definitely heading, um, I am filming this ahead of schedule, um, as I most, you guys see these every Thursday, which is great, but this week that it's re recording for you guys is for us, spring break. Kids are on spring break because we always take time the week right up to Easter off. So they're on spring break and it's my birthday this week and so I sort of wanted to get myself all sort of stacked up ready to go so that you guys had digitals to look at and purchase, you guys had videos ready to go, and I could just click a button and went active, active, live, whatever. And now I should have to work too much this week. Um, I do have to play with my Happy Planner stuff because, oh my gosh, a new month, right? Because this actually airs on April 1st. Now, I'm not a big April Fool's person, so there's not like a trick trick thing going on or anything like that. Um, it's just the 1st of April to me. So, uh, but here we go, April, April 1st again. So we've got monthlies and and budgets and I track out like when I want things like laid out and how often I want to do you know how many journal kits do I want out this month when do I think I want to put them out and I've done a lot lately you know we've really busted butt in February and into March you know we've gotten you know the Valentine stuff was in January we went to Easter sepia journal tags sepia card sets um, the whole Easter packet, like I said, then we went into retro. We did retro baking, retro sweet treats, retro cooking, um, the keeper that you guys just saw last week, and um, you know, from, from bright retro to, to shabby retro, and then all of a sudden I've got, you know, this week, um, there's the release of these digitals that you're, we're working on right now, of course, you get to see it in person, how it sort of came about. I uh, did, did released a checkered retro pattern pa paper pack. So those things I really didn't do a video on, normally do reveals, but I try to keep the reveals to larger full kits. And you guys just see what sort of pops into place as things fill in in my, in my thing. I did notice though, I had a tendency when I was ripping, like I would be really consistent with my thumb. So it's almost like I had a, a consistent pattern going down the side. You'll, I think you'll see it a little bit on the far right when I put these, this what I'm working on right now. But it was like even, almost evenly spaced where my thumb was ripping. I was like, oh, I, I don't think I can keep doing that. But I am really bummed. The whole left side of this, you guys barely get to see while I'm laying it out. Oh, the trials and error of all of this. So, um, yeah, I tried to adjust the screen and it sort of cut off my verbiage, but that's okay. You got to, see, it didn't change my video, but so yeah, here we go. Um, I did, like I said, spend like 15 minutes working on this. So I did shorten this down. You guys only have like a 37 minute video. So I could just ramble on and talk to you guys and what's going on and not worry about like how fast or how slow this whole thing was working. Um, because ripping and really just ripping and tearing and placing it. And that's what it is for scrapbooking It's chatting. And it's a great way to um, like not kill time, but like it's a great project to sit and like watch TV with doing or chatting with friends when we get to start seeing each other a little closer together. And um even though, I mean, I have a huge table. I could sit on two different ends of the table and be six feet apart. I mean, I have a large kitchen table, which I'm slowly going to have to start doing this because missing all my friends and creative creative entities. Thank God I get to see my mother because we're both pretty um, careful with our scenario and our environment. So uh, we're like, the only people we see are my parents, thank God. Uh, so yeah, that's my fun because we've been collaborating. Like the Retro Sweet Treats kit is a collaboration that myself and my mother, Vintage Paper Girl, uh, Lorette, uh, put together, you know, we I went over there and I'd work on stuff the night before and I'd go over and we'd tweak things and we reprint, reprint things and we would play with things and oh my gosh, it was a lot of fun. So that was a blast. 
but it is great to be working on these pieces that you see right now it re um refreshes my memory of like what i did for the botanical kit which is that one straight smack in the middle there um the gorgeous pink and purple grouping this pretty blue one here was actually i think it was more blue and i made it a little bit more purple um now the pieces i have in my hand right now actually came from the floral spring wallpaper kit and you can barely see the lace background that i have in a pretty teal so yeah i think that was a big thing it was a botanical it was the spring and then i do pull in more um i do finally pull in other pieces so as you can see i'm making my pile of like a background seriously scrappy background pieces i'm all hmm as i ripped around one thing i was like okay now i have the rest of the page is just sitting there and you know or i want that i'm like what do i do with it and that was funny because i realized the words were upside down because this is one of those things where i got really crafty with the botanical kit if you notice that i have flowers upside down to give sort of a different vertical feel uh came in from the side or came in from the top so i thought it was still really pretty i love hanging roses and other florals upside down on my wall when they're drying so to me to have a graphic that way didn't didn't phase me um it definitely it's sort of weird though um you watch most people they will just start maybe put their scent they might put their focal piece down but they really just like try to think about it they just start ripping pages and like look at a piece and oh that fits there oh, look, look at this piece and that'll fit there and i can't i'm i have to slightly prepare <laughs> my pieces and you know what i'm gonna turn my heater off i just realized that might be in the background but i was freezing i've been up since eight trying to get this done i'm behind on the actual wild wildfire botanical kit i should have started that yesterday but there were so many things i was trying to get done and for you guys it's like a full almost two weeks early that i'm talking about this but yeah i'm a little behind schedule if i want to take next week off which is the week you're watching this and um yeah so but i did start getting my rhythm with this sort of figured out exactly like the big pieces that i wanted to see as you can tell see so yeah, i'm like okay i think i've got the basics down where i want them and then i was going to start like figuring out how to start filling it in and start working on it, which i said you totally missed the whole left side which came out really cute which you will see at the end i promise um the whole left side of this i will show off to you uh at the end of this video you'll have to be patient with me oh what to do what to do uh so i'm almost thinking about pausing for a moment and sort of speeding it up some more so you get to sort of see what i'm doing on more to the middle to the right so you're not staring at a section that you cannot see i'm so sorry about that guys it's trial and error it really is you only have so much space you keep forgetting you have this huge table to work with but your phone will only cover so much and I even pulled my phone up some so it wasn't so close to what I was doing so that I could see more. Thank God I did. I don't know. You guys would see even less of this if I hadn't. But I keep forgetting, I guess, I need to go farther and farther to the right. But my seat does not always line up to the right. So, ugh, constant trial and error. So, yeah, you know, I think I'm going to pause myself personally. And I am going to speed this up just a little bit more that way you can see the progress and start seeing things fall into place and then you can actually watch me again a little slower maybe as we come back to this section that you physically can see and um i'll say i move it over a little bit i finally realized and that's in the paper like my end of my page is now at the end of my table so i can't move it any farther over Ugh. yeah talk about sticky though i do have a few spots where i realized that there's um well not too bad yeah you still can't see it um it definitely has spots where i um left a lot of sticky stuff behind on the paper on top and i'm like oh my gosh that's not good so i um have a feeling i might be adding a little extra glue and glitter to some areas once it's cut and sort of finesse it or i'm putting it more you know fussy cuts over whatever pages i use and if it fill it's just gotten dirty but storing these oh my gosh now i know why gail um says that she has to have shelving units for these when she makes them because she makes them five or six sheets deep and they're usually like the nine by six plus size um and so when she lays them all out like they're long they can get really crazy so you definitely have to have room to store these which i'm like oh no i don't have room so probably sooner than i think i'll be cutting them up but i know i'll be really hesitant to do it because i don't know what i want to use them for so i'm gonna be really careful and make sure i store this as carefully as possible 
until I've got those pages ready and I know what kind of ephemera I want. Because I could guess at it and, and cut it up where I think it works. So maybe working on the digitals um, for you guys may actually help me sort of pinpoint the areas I like and go, yeah, that's the area I want to cut for a tag or a you know, large tag or a journal card or a tuck. I mean, I really like my left far right side that you can sort of see where the flowers up the side and the butterflies. And I want to make me want to continue to make that a, a wide belly band. All right, so you can see the left side a little bit better than I thought you could because I moved it over. Um, so you're getting a general gist of it, but as usual, like the bottom of my page continues to slowly slide off the page. It's like the coastline sliding into the ocean after every single rain we've had and all the wildfires. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. We had another section of highway one, um, slide into the ocean up towards Santa Cruz. So if you're familiar with the area, great. If not, yeah, mid California. Um, we had quite a few large uh, coastal fires this past summer, and now all of a sudden we get rain late in the season, and everything is just sliding. It's bad. Poor Highway 1 is definitely a coastal drive, and it um, we've had this problem for on and off for years. You know, um, mild fires, but all this rain, and then no rain, and all this rain, and no rain, and yeah. The poor highway keeps just going into the ocean. <laughs> Yay, California! <laughs> So anyway, I'm getting, yeah, I'm finally getting a rhythm. I'm realizing what the big chunks that I want down. So maybe I won't speed up. I think I'm finally getting going here. Getting going. Getting gone. <laughs> Biggest thing is remembering was, was me trying to get my base pieces down first and sort of layering up to what I wanted because as you'll notice later like I glued something down and I have to like rip it up because I want to put under it I, want, I didn't want to lose that torn edge and this is definitely being springy and being a floral spring botanical thing I didn't distress anything in the sense of like between the papers some have I've seen some um collage rolls where each piece sort of got distressed before it got put down. I think I'll be more, I'm going to distress the physical ephemera when it's done. Once it's cut out and glued in place, like I'm then going to distress around the edges. Not so much each piece of paper because I may not. I mean, I don't know how much distressing I'll do in this botanical kit. Um, there are elements like in the bottom in that green and pink uh, flower, bottom left there, um, where the pieces are a little darker in the background then, you know, a little more distressing on the edges. It would be really, really pretty. Others where it's more white and cream and and pale colors. I don't know if I want to distress them, right? It depends on what page it's going on, I guess, or what it's mirroring. I may decide that, you know, it needs the distress or it may not. So you'll have to tell me whether or not you're a big one for always distressing something or partially distressing something. I still can't believe I cut all this off down here. I have to still work on that. I'm really going to have to figure it out as we're getting into this thing. Because I can sometimes work in the middle of my, my, try to work towards more the middle of my table. So that we don't take a chance of it falling off. But there's times where I really need to move my arms. And it's right in front of me. And my phone just, it shifts. The arm shifts. It's supposed to be a super stable arm. But somewhere in the plastic, that silicone plastic that holds the phone, the whole phone shifts. I don't know why. Like it settles in. Which is fine. Except that I never know how or when. And then I'm kicking myself when I realize I'm the one who adjusted it, thinking it'd be okay. <laughs> and it settled more. That's okay. Okay, so we are in the botanical. We are springy. We are floral. Um, if you watch this, I'd love a comment. And, um, because it's not something live. But, you know, what are your spring, um... What were your plans, I should say, for spring break? Or if you haven't done spring break, what are your plans? I have one lady I follow who decided, since they couldn't go anywhere, still comfortably, um, that they were going to stay home. And that they were going to turn their whole, like, living space, their open living space, into, like, a studio hotel type thing, right? They were going to have their, like, make sure everything was really easily accessible as if you were in, like, a hotel room or one of those really nice, like, little living space areas. 
and they were gonna watch videos and they were gonna put stuff up on a projector projector screen and you know a fire pit in the backyard off their deck and they were just gonna really make the most but sort of like shift their whole like living scenario a little bit to where maybe they were like you're sleeping in the same room and you're eating and like just one big studio room right so they were rearranging everything to make it feel more like a staycation but not actually just be at home and I thought it was really cute. I thought, ah, the things you should do, right? The things you should do with your kids or even on your own to make things exciting because we're all tired of being home. But not so sure if it's okay to go out yet. So yeah, what are your guys' plans? Like what, when's your spring break and what do you plan on doing? Like I said, I don't, um, we pretty much being with my birthday this week and Easter, we, you know, we'll get together with my parents for Easter. Um, me and the kids are off. My hubby has to work though. So we're going to be doing our movie nights. We're going to have our craft days. We're going to have, I have a diamond painting that I am way behind on. So me and my youngest will probably sit and do some of that because she has hers that she works on. I have some happy planning to do. I do have to get caught up for April so I can go, the moment spring break is done, I'm back into the swing of my projects and, um, all my digital projects. Ah, where'd I go? Oh, I moved way over. Ah! Thinking you guys needed to be able to see this. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, it'll work. I'll work my way back over, maybe. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, goodness. All right, well, then I am definitely going to speed up so that we can, um, you guys can see what I'm doing, but we can get to the end and um, sort of discuss what I ended up with so you can see it all. Because no one wants to sit here the whole time and watch me just, you know do this. <laughs> I'm like, mm. it's really pretty in the end. I really like how it turned out. But the process is sort of, eh, it's one of those times I really wish I could talk to you guys and we could jibber jabber while I was doing this. All right, so let's speed up and see what happens. All right, so speeding it up, definitely took another seven minutes off. Um, so we'll see if I decide to keep it. I may speed up just a little bit more, but here's the spot where I was totally frustrated. and was like, that's a really straight edge and I don't want to lose it. So we're going to scrape it back and hope for the best. Yeah, I really forgot to keep using my glue box, glue book, box, ha, <laughs> glue box, glue book. And, you know, again, this is where I'm it has some issues. I think I even like spread the pink out a little bit, but I ended up covering it, so it's all good. Oh my goodness. But this was a lot of fun. I was, really did enjoy trying to space things out and change the elements and find the color schemes or not color schemes. I mean, you're not really supposed to think about it. You're supposed to just sort of take what you have and see where it goes. <clears throat> okay, well, I got a little bit back. I just, I am so kicking myself for not pulling it back up. I sort of know better for to not work so close to the front. But I really appreciate you guys for watching if you're still watching and hanging out, hanging in there with me and, um, you know, going through this process as, you know, it inspires, it encourages, it, at least if I'm talking in the background, you can listen to my voice. Sometimes that's one of some of my ladies, as much as I want to watch what they're doing, I just love listening to them. And then I will look up and try to keep an eye on things. And there's a few where I'm like, okay, I love the love the conversation and I'm definitely have to go back and watch because I so want to do that when I have a moment. Now I did take the chance with this one. This is definitely a darker uh, gray like wooded background and it's one of the pages that I actually really really had to work on hard. This is a this is one of my scrappy pages that you guys don't see. You got a different variation of that one in that book and that's with the Fifty Shades um, kit. But it was sort of a nice contrast out of all the, like, the constant cream and taupe and white, um, or even just pale colors. It was sort of nice to have this, like, wham, here's some darkness, which I put one more piece in, so it may very well become part of, like, top and bottom of belly band once it's cut out, because I really love just how this tulip, not tulip, iris is in the middle of the page here. Um, I ended up starting the sepia look without realizing it way back when in October. 
um, when I was working on this botanical kit where I did sort of tone them, tone the pictures out. So you had your bright colors, you had your backgrounds, and then you had that sort of sepia, monotone look in the background. Um, or not any one color stood out. Let's try to get some more of the splattered pink. So now this splattered pages came from the Easter kit. So what's right there to the right of the sepia looking iris is that creamy um, taupey background with splatters of pink. Like pink paint splatter. Which I have it in th three or four colors in the Easter kit. The Easter bunny. Not Easter bunny. It's very bunny-ish. I can't help it. It's not even Easter. I shouldn't call it Easter. Though it is. My spring bunny kit is very Easter-ish. Um, I was trying to hide that fact. But people did notice the eggs. And was a little worried about it. But to me too. It, it looked like just colored pebbles too. So I mean big. Of course bigger. Bigger colored rocks, I guess, next to the bunnies. Depends how small the bunny was. But um, it was very much an Easter feel, even though I called it Spring Bunny. So I was debating that piece. I did come back to it, but I had to figure out how to adjust it. Oh, I love that. We come, we look, we try again. Oh, gosh, that's just a piece. Okay, well, maybe that's a piece. <laughs> I had to flip the other way, and it looked like one followed suit to the other, and I didn't like that. So reverse, it was great. Like, it was on the other side. It balanced it out. So I kept trying to, yep, there, I kept trying to line it up. No, 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 do that. There we go. Back and forth, back and forth. If only I pulled it up, that would have been nice. You guys could have seen the bottom of it. Though you will see it again at the bottom. Like, you will see the bottom of it here when I show it all off. Right? This is now the following. I, I had a lot of vertical in this. I did realize I was trying to, I did try to start finding squares. Like the top right, like the middle. You know, uh, up there on the left, you can sort of see, I was trying to find squares or longer, wider hor um, horizontal, I mean, um, horizontal or vertical pieces where I wasn't just long vertical after long vertical after long vertical. But the pitch, the, the, the imagery did lead to that. So I guess that was the problem. I had to like, no, 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 come on, square it out, square it out. <laughs> and remember to go horizontal if I had a lot of vertical going on. But I think I did, I, in the end, I did pretty good. I... I do feel I have a little bit of both to break it up, so. But it was just trying to figure out, hide all those little spots, right? I mean, there's a couple edge pieces that have the brown and that shows when I'm done cutting. Great. Not a big deal. I think it's sort of cool. But I did want to make sure anything in the middle was hiding. Or just close enough. Yeah, I found a square of writing. That's part I was totally trying to figure out how to make a journal page for you guys in the, um... Shabby Retro, Recipe Keeper, um, Vintage Paper Girl was like, you need to have writing paper. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got backgrounds. I got pretty light-colored geometric pages for filler, but I didn't have anything for you guys to write on besides the journal cards. And so I did create a quick two-up um, journaling page that you can print as many times as you want, fold it, glue it, cut it, whatever, um, to give you memory-keeping type journal pages. So we had to have that. But as we're speeding up, we are definitely coming to the end. And then I realized I hadn't even touched the Valentine pages. Ah! So I did sort of randomly throw that in, but because of the coloring in that area, I felt I could put the doves in there. And it made very well, like, the doves and the two, the writing, and there's writing and there's the um, now very diagonal lines of writing right underneath them. So it may very well become its own little square where maybe I just missed the purple flowers to the right. And I cut myself a cute little journal card out of that one, which is great because then it leaves the do the doves and above, or above the doves to make a nice like journal. Um, oh my gosh, I'm oh belly band type tuck with that lovely vertical iris. Yeah, my botanical became very much an iris and um, herb. Which is really funny because actually the darker colors where you see where the butterflies are, those are actually the floral versions of a lot of the herbs that we use today. Um, and you wouldn't know it. We don't. We forget that our herbs that we love so much can flower. They will come up to a natural floral element. Um, if we let them grow long enough, they will flower. So I did get a little bit of my, one of my pink Valentine background pages, which was on the other side of that dove one. 
is what's right beside the lily there. Or not, I don't call it a lily. It's not my iris. It's a pale pink and brown piece. So, and there we go. See a big old honking bright colored. <laughs> Which, you know, if I cut it just right, will be really cool in that bottom left corner of that belly band. Oh my gosh, if I cut it just right. Alright, so the final, place is, final piece is in place. I have slowed down the video so you can see all of the wonder. Here it all is. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, big old purple smack in the middle, but... I can make a belly band out of that. I think I know exactly what I'm doing with that piece. So maybe I'm cutting this up sooner than I thought. I think I know what I'm going to do with some of it. But I want to show you guys the whole thing. So as I can. There's a the far left, finally. It was really cute, pale, light, clustered. There's the bottom that I was working on. I did let it go off the page so I can trim them up the way I need to. See all that pretty coloring. I think it really turned out great. I'm so sorry you guys couldn't see all of it throughout the whole thing, but I really appreciate you watching and sticking it out. This is Jolene with the Jewel Design. This is Thursday, April 1st, and um, we have so much more to come. And uh, we definitely, I have a feeling um, now that I've done this and I'll start working on the Wildflower Botanical, um, maybe next week we can start playing with the cover. Um, now, once I have the two kits sort of ready the way I want, I think that's where we're heading. So we'll try to take a shot at piecing together scraps of fabric next week and working on a cooler technique, trying to create a fabric scrap cover for this wonderful journal. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for finding me. And I really appreciate the subscriptions and the watch. See you next week. Talk to you later. Happy Easter.